This is the Seagate 500 gigabyte SATA hard drive and um, I just wanted to show you why it's important to always check the jumper cables on a drive uh, the jumper settings on a particular drive that you get uh, you know people may think that hey this is not a PADA hard drive it's not an IDE hard drive why do I need to bother with the jumper settings I'll show you so if you look carefully over here you'll see a jumper there the drive ships like this. I didn't put it there. So, you know, this is the power connector, the SATA connector, and those are the four jumpers right here. So, it's got a jumper set right there. Let's have a look at the drive legend to see what it says about it. So, lo and behold, it tells you that if there's a jumper there, the drive operation is limited to 1.5 gigabits per second. So, that's a, that's a very important bit of information right there. This means that uh, if you leave that jumper in place as the drive shipped with it, your drive performance is going to be hobbled. Instead of 3 gigabits per second, you're only going to get 1.5. That's not cool. So we want to make sure that, that that jumper is removed before the drive is inserted in a computer or in a drobo, which is where I happen to be using it. So let's do that. Now removing this is going to be a little tricky. I've, I've already done it for one of my other Seagate drives, but it's just, it's hard to get to it. And you don't want to bend the jumpers, just in case you, you've got you've to set them in, in the future. Because, you know, with some older computers, they're not able to, do it, to have a 3 gigabit per second uh, SATA operation. So, you know, you've got to hobble them down. But for these newer computers, all of them are capable of communicating with the drive at 3 gigabits per second. Now, this is kind of a, a cheap jumper, so it's okay. I'm going to damage it a little bit, but I think the jumpers themselves, the pins, should be fine. Or maybe not. I, I probably damaged one of them. Hold on. Let me remove this properly. So there's the jumper that I removed from the drive. It's, it's a tiny little thing. It's made of very soft plastic, so I did damage it a little bit while pulling it out. I also bent one of the pins slightly, but that's okay. I bent it back in place. It wasn't a serious sort of bend, so there's no kink in the pin. Here, let me show it to you on the drive. You see, that's where the jumper was set, jumpers one and two. So, pins one and two, I mean, so it's removed now. And uh, if we look at the drive legend, just one more time to review. Now it says I should be able to get three gigabits per second operation, so that's good. Alright, I'm looking forward to better bandwidth from this drive.